we have a beautiful selection of ingredients here, which is going to transform into what I've created as the blonde salad. We are going to start with a head of butter lettuce, add some golden beet, a golden delicious apple. I'm going to shred the beets and cut up the apple. I'm going to have some garbanzo beans, some feta cheese, some fennel, um, shaved fennel as well. We have some farro, which is an Italian grain, which has got a very nutty, chewy texture. And we have some pumpkin seeds, which are my favorite, which is raw, unsalted, and some celery stalk with the leaves, and as well as some sliced almonds, roasted cauliflower, which I seasoned with some garlic powder and a little bit of white pepper. And I'm going to give a little pop of some pomegranate for juiciness and color. And I'm just going to make a vinaigrette. Um, I'll show you how to make that vinaigrette to go with this salad. Now this salad was an inspiration by the fashion blogger, The Blonde Salad. She's Italian, she travels all over the world, and I just thought that fashion and food could go together in a recipe. Golden delicious apples, celery, pomegranate, feta cheese, slivered almonds, pumpkin seeds, garbanzos, farro, golden beet, butter lettuce torn by hand, roasted cauliflower. Chop up one golden delicious apple. If you don't have a golden delicious apple, you can also use a pear. Chop it up into smaller bites. Shave one half of a golden beet into fine slivers. Do the same for the fennel. Prepare your vinaigrette by putting half of a shallot minced finely into the bottom of your bowl. Then pour your olive oil in begin to make your vinaigrette. Whisk in some fresh lemon juice of one lemon. Pour in and whisk with the other hand until you incorporate the lemon juice. Then you can add one tablespoon of a citrusy vinegar and keep whisking until you incorporate it all together a tablespoon of grain mustard, add it in and continue to whisk. A pinch of white pepper and some garlic powder would add a little bit of flavor to your vinaigrette. A tablespoon of creamy tahini is perfect to make your vinaigrette creamier. Continue to whisk until it's all incorporated together. Now begin with your butter lettuce. Tear the leaves with your hands. One head is enough to fill the bowl. Now begin adding your ingredients. We'll begin with the chopped apple. Sprinkle in a little bit on top of the lettuce. Then add the garbanzos. Add some farro, as much as you'd like. Shaved fennel. Shaved golden beet. The golden beet adds a little sweetness, as well as color. Then add the crunchy almonds, as much as you'd like. A little bit of feta cheese if you want some salty flavor. And for more texture, pumpkin seeds, my favorite. I can never get enough. Then some more texture, add celery. The fennel greens just look so pretty and act as a garnish. 
and give a little hint of the fennel flavor. Then toss very lightly. Incorporate the dressing all over the salad. And add a pop of color and juiciness with the pomegranate. Add more farro if you'd like. I enjoy the texture very much in the salad. And some more celery. More feta. And some more pomegranate because it just looks so pretty. Some more almonds if you want crunch. And pumpkin seeds. The blonde salad is dressed. Now that we've made our salad, we are going to garnish it and put it in a beautiful bowl for serving with the dressing at the bottom of the bowl. And then we incorporated the entire salad with vinaigrette. You don't have to, if you can find some squash blossoms, why not add a little bit of color, um, some fennel uh, fronds, which I thought were really pretty and added to more of a, a feathery feminine feeling for our blonde salad. Garnish it however you'd like. I chose some slivered almonds and a little pop with the color of pomegranate, but you can just choose anything that you would like to have, as well as the feta. If you're not eating dairy or cheese, you can leave the feta out. I have a few black, two black bowls, and I just thought this would really offset the color of our salad. Um, we have so many different light colors that I thought the black would be very dramatic and beautiful. So I'm going to now plate the salad. And you can make this very easily with ingredients that you'd rather have or if you want to follow my recipe. I will put a little bit in each bowl. Have so many different textures and flavors in the salad. It's so pretty. It smells wonderful. And then I thought with the roasted cauliflower, maybe just to top it a little bit because otherwise it will get soggy if you leave it in the dressing um, if you wanted to serve it a little bit later. Once dressed, you really should eat a salad right away. You're conscious of the textures and flavors that you're incorporating into your salad. Keep in mind that once dressed, you really should eat it as soon as possible so you want to save some of this roasted cauliflower later. If you don't want it in your salad, if you want to serve it later with something else, then you have a little bit of that. Um, I roasted the cauliflower with just a very light amount of olive oil and white pepper and garlic powder. And when it was roasting in the oven, it just smelled so good. I actually ate a little bit, but just very light. So we're gonna have a very light, not big hunks of cauliflower. You have to also make sure you cut them very small. But perfect. Don't salt them, really. Kind of maybe just a touch, but because it's going into a salad, we're not gonna salt it very much. These, this is about the size you want. You really don't want more than a, than a small biteful. So we have added the roasted cauliflower almost as a garnish. And then you can serve it and voila, the blonde salad. This salad is very balanced in flavor and texture, savory and sweet. If you like this recipe video, please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to sharing more luscious, pleasureful recipes with you on In The Mood Food. Now I'm in the mood to take my salad outside and enjoy a little bit of the fresh air and eat my blonde salad. Come join me. Come on, let's go outside. You can find more recipes like this on thesensualfoodie.com.